38 poachers give up their spears for shovels. Moses Arinetwe. When life gets tough, the wild animals suffer too. Animals like lion. Hippo. Giraffe. Antelope. Pangolin and even the mighty elephant. Wildlife poachers lay snares, stalk with spears, even hunt with dogs. Wild animals are hunted for the pot, to sell as bushmeat, or for the wildlife trafficking trade. Fortunately, there are people like Moses Arinetwe. Moses was taught to love nature by his granny. For years, he looked for ways to help protect wildlife in his area in Uganda. When he did come up with good solutions, he had no way to fund them. Moses, like most in his area, lives a humble life. In 2017, we visited Moses. He introduced us to a small group of poachers, ex-poachers, or reformed poachers as he likes to call them. Moses had convinced these men to trade their spears for shovels. However, Moses needed help to continue to assist them with alternative livelihood projects. Projects like beekeeping, fish farming, growing vegetables. Since that day we spent with Moses, his reach has grown tremendously. Fast forward to early 2021. Moses held two very important workshops. One at the restaurant built by the first Reform Poacher Group and one near Queen Elizabeth National Park. As a result of the second, 38 poachers, including their leader, pledged to trade their spears for shovels. Moses was both thrilled and terrified. How could he possibly help 38 families? Now, two fish ponds so we are doing the final cleaning up. In a fish house, solar lights, and fish guard later, this reform poacher group is off to a good start. This success led Moses to an even bigger idea. A long-term thinking idea. A self-sustainable idea. Start a communal micro-lending project. Each member of the group would put money in and request a loan for certain money-making ventures, like goat or chickens, for example. Of course, they would have to pay the money back with some interest, creating a perpetual fund. This notion is actually already in motion. Every Sunday, this group of 38 reform poachers meet. Each contributes what he can to the money pot. Moses reports that even 57 U.S. cents is a real stretch for most. Although a valiant effort, at this rate they'll all starve or return to poaching before there's enough money for anything. Michaela has committed to raise a thousand dollars to seed the pot. The need is urgent. Lockdowns due to the COVID pandemic have made poor people even poorer. To help them and to protect wildlife, we all must act quickly. Join us and help save both people and wildlife.